Evening, one match for you tonight with the Premier League leaders Liverpool away at Newcastle. Jermaine Genius and Stephen Warnock will provide the analysis. Just the one game because Tottenham-Fulham was postponed this afternoon. Fulham having reported a significant rise in COVID-19 cases and symptoms amongst their players. So let's get to St James's Park and commentary from Guy Mowbray. When you play against arguably one of the best teams in the world, then you need a bit of luck at times. But the spirit and the attitude and the endeavour was there for everybody to see. I was delighted with them. I couldn't ask for, for more in terms of what they give us. Yes, we could uh, be a bit more on the ball and stayed a bit more on the ball, especially late on. But overall, very, very pleased at what, we, what the performance we put in. We should have won the game, no doubt about that. That Newcastle can play football, I knew before. And that we, I was not sure that we can create the chances we created tonight. So we did that. So that the opposition is good. That happens all the time. Um, and um, so, yes, if you want, I tip the head all the time for the opposition. But tonight, I have to. You probably don't think you have to tip the head for my team, but I like the performance. So, we didn't finish the situations off, and that makes obviously the difference. Carl, clean sheet. That's not happened to Liverpool before in the Premier League this season. How does that feel for you today? I wasn't aware of that, but um, obviously delighted with a clean sheet and a point at home. Um, we come off the back of a, a tough game away at Man City uh, four days ago, so to, to come here and, and take a point off them is, is brilliant. And uh, we just need to make sure that we take that effort and uh, endeavour really into the next game. We knew without we'd let any, everybody down in a big cup tie. For a club like ours to get to a semi-final, we haven't been there for I don't know how many years, 50 years maybe. I don't know. And we and we and we we blew it. So we have to take the criticism that comes our way and accept it. But I hope that the, the supporters who are watching today can really enjoy their team today, which is important for them in these difficult times, especially on the telly. Um, so, you know, it was a great performance. Let's look forward to Sunday. They did get a lot of criticism for, for going out of the cup, and as De Bruyne says, rightly so. Do you think Newcastle fans will have enjoyed that performance a bit more, as he suggested? I think so, yeah. It, it felt like a shift for me tonight in approach to a game, um, definitely against a top side. You know, initially, I think for the last, what, two, three, four, five years at Newcastle, going to those types of games, it's really is part of the bus, six at the back time and offering very little up front. Whereas today, uh, they had intent, they shown ambition, especially in that first half, they shown a togetherness, a spirit, all the things that Newcastle fans want. So, yeah, I, I definitely feel that that was a game that a lot of Newcastle fans would have watched and gone, that's more like what I want to see as a fan. And we'll look at what they did in both halves, uh, both halves in a minute. You, you would both agree that they needed their goalkeeper, though. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh, what a performance. I mean, that's the thing. Sometimes you do need your goalkeeper to be outstanding. We saw it the other day against West Bromwich Albion, Liverpool, and Sam Johnson was the hero at the end of the, the game. This save is just phenomenal, isn't it, from Mohamed Salah? Because you, you just think with the touch that he's taken, it's just it's going to be a goal. He was just... Um, you know what I like about what Cardolo's done? You know, he, when he made the move from Forest, uh, you know, to Newcastle, he's had some good moments, some tough moments. I think that the battle between him and Dubravka is just really heating up now. Now Dubravka's obviously back. But today, I mean, was that smart or was it, you know, one that he got away with? Either way, you know, it, the, the save he made initially warranted, the, you know, that he got away with it. And it was a save after save. There's talks about England call-ups for him. He's playing the best football of his life. You know, I, I spent a bit of time with him at Newcastle um, during my second, uh, sorry, at Forest during my second spell there. And, you know, great lad, got a level head on his shoulders, wants to improve. And, um, it's good, you know, it's great to see that development in his Premier League career. And it will help, it will help them. Steve Bruce said afterwards, you've got two goalkeepers genuinely fighting for the shirt. It helps. It always brings competition out of you. It doesn't matter what position you're in. If you, if you know you've got someone pushing you and then you're seeing them in training every day and you're thinking, he's getting sharper, he's getting fitter. And mm -hmm. that's what he'll be thinking about Dubravka now. And he'll be thinking, am I still nailed on for this? Performances like that will help him. OK, they didn't park the bus, as you said. They, they, they did try and carry a threat, particularly yeah. in the first half. In the first half, definitely. I mentioned intent. I thought Callum Wilson was, was brilliant. I thought he gave uh, the back four of Liverpool a lot of problems, held up the ball well, was willing to make runs in behind. He was a continuous like, out ball for them as well. I think, you know, especially as full-backs, they were looking to try and get him as he was running into those channels. You can see him here just... Just pulling on to, to Nat Williams and just thinking, right, get me in behind a better ball there and actually is in on goal. So it was just 
that type of thing I thought was brilliant. The second part was look at the positioning of this, of this Newcastle side, much higher up the pitch, willing to engage higher up the pitch in numbers. And this is, this is new to them as well, by the way. And you can tell it's new because it's like they want to do it. They're just, just off by half a second, as you can see. And that's why Liverpool get out. But the intent and the thought process behind that is exactly what I think Newcastle's want to see is, you know, facing people higher up the pitch. That's what the fans want, isn't 100%, it? 100%, you know, and just giving it a go. You know, I think that Wilson will always cause problems. He has to square this one, though, to Murphy. If he does, I think he sticks it into the back of the net. And... That was, you know, a, a thing in the first half that was, it was a key pattern. Giving the ball away, not dropping off, numbers again. We can win it back, we can hunt. You know, Liverpool at this point usually think, oh, we're comfortable, we'll get it back, we'll knock it around. Not today. Newcastle felt like, right, we'll get in their faces, we'll make it difficult, and we'll try and make something out of nothing. Wilson again, bit of brilliance, and an opportunity for, for Yedin, who probably should just do a little bit better. Second half, though, Liverpool really did step it up, I felt, and I think that's where Newcastle did have to revert a little bit more back to type. But the defensive three was solid within that. They stayed tight as a unit. There were some really good blocks. Whenever there was moments like that where they got a little bit of unfortunate, always someone to get them out of trouble there. Fabian Shear getting them out on that occasion. Liverpool were really, I thought, really good between the lines, especially when Thiago came onto the pitch. But you know these moments are going to happen against the Liverpool side and you've just got to dig deep and stick in together. And they just... They, they had that togetherness uh, today and they had those big moments and this was one of them. And fans react more to the last-ditch stuff, don't they? Oh. But, you know, that gets... I know there aren't any people there at the moment, but that gets you off your seat I, more than just... I, that gets you off your seat I, more than just... I, that gets you off your seat I, more than just...